In this tutorial, we're using these laminated vinyl graphics to turn these into this and this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to take this helmet blank. I'm not going to show you how this helmet's built. There's other tutorials online that show you that. If you click on the link that's showing on the screen, you could go to that tutorial. So we're starting with this and we're turning this into a red 5 helmet. Now if you've ever built a Red 5 helmet, you know that there's just days of masking. All the individual stripes and the lining on the stripes and all the masking that's required to get the colors here and then the, the, uh, the black colors here, yellow colors here, the, the red boxes, the black stripes, everything has to be masked individually. This is what you would normally use either as water slide decals or in this instant vinyl applications this is what you would use to make a red five these basic insignias I'm going to be using those in addition to this new system I'm going to show you how fast a red five can go together using these new vinyl applications laser cut easy to apply look great so the first thing you're going to want to do is cut these individual sections out. Here is all the decals cut out, separated, and here's our blank helmet. And I am going to show you what I can do with this helmet j very quickly just using these applications. I'm going to let this camera just roll and you'll see me apply these and uh, enjoy. So I took this decal off its wax paper so I can see where to place this a little bit better. And I'm just going to line this up, push it down, starting here at this one edge, and fits perfect, like a glove, look at that. And there's a little triangle decal, and that's going to sit right there. I'm doing the same thing with the yellow. I'm going to line it up to where it meets this corner. I'm a little too high, so I'm going to readjust this. Push it down. Beautiful. You can also spray this down with Windex or soapy water just on the surface. Just get a, a little bit wet so when this decal goes on, it'll it won't stick all the way and you can slide it around and then wick the moisture off until it starts to stick. Alright, so there's that and I'm going to keep going. Okay, so I'm into this by about 10 minutes and I'm going to grab a heat gun. I'm going to show you a trick you can use with a heat gun. There's a couple wrinkles in this vinyl decal and I haven't pushed them all the way to where those wrinkles become permanent wrinkles. So I'm going to show you a trick that you do with a heat gun to get these little wrinkles out of here. It's very simple. Here's how you deal with these wrinkles. So I've got two that are here as an example. I've got a hot air gun. You can use a hair dryer for this. But I've got an industrial paint removing hot air gun. So I'm just going to turn this on 
very lightly just cover that wrinkle area just really quick. Maybe a little bit longer if you're using a hair dryer and then this vinyl will stretch, it'll heat up and you can stretch it and push it down and bam, done. All right, so I'm going to show you that wrinkle trick again here on this area. I've got a wrinkle and a wrinkle because this curve is, is uh, compounding here. We're going to grab a heat gun. Just a couple seconds. They almost work themselves out. And then just press down flat. Just kind of stretch it out. Push it with your fingers. Done. Smooth as a baby's butt. And I've got a couple more right here. They're really just flattening themselves out. And now you've got a perfect smooth application here. Just this masking would have taken you 30 to 40 minutes, maybe an hour for the paint to dry before you could take the masking off. This I did in five, six seconds. That's the beauty of these decals. Now we're applying the Mohawk cap. And for this, you're going to need the heat gun, like I showed you earlier, and an X-Acto knife, because we're going to be applying it, heating it, bending it, trimming it. So I'm going to start by taking the decal off the wax, off the backing paper. And I'm going to shift this a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to apply it so that it covers that edge, the bottommost edge. I'm going to wrap it, I'm going to pull it tight, press down, finish this edge over here. I'm not worrying about, I'm not worrying about the front of this yet, I'm just making sure that this is pushed down nice and flat. And we're going to trim that in a minute. Now to get this thing to fold over the front, I'm going to grab my X-Acto blade and I'm going to see where this edge is and I'm going to slice down. I'll do that again on this side so you can see it. I'm going to fill with my fingers, fill where that corner is, take the blade, slice it down. So now we can fold these individual sections in. Press them flat. And now we're going to trim. I've got this pressed so I can see these edges. I can see where to trim. So just with an X-Acto blade, I'm just going to cut this, I'm just going to zip this, and then I'm going to zip down. The tricky part is doing this so I can show the camera. Okay, so I'm going to find the edge. I'm going to zip in. Turn the blade. Zip down. And remove this excess. And then, um, looks like I've got to trim just a little bit more here and a tiny bit more here, but you just keep working that so that it fits tight. And then the same thing down here. It's a little bit long here. This is on purpose so that so that it's, it gets full coverage. So I'm going to take my blade. And I'm going to cut that and then peel this off and you should have this covered. Here is all the decals applied. There's going to be some paint touch-up work here to finish the lines. And of course we're going to have to mask this and get that yellow stripe going on and I'm going to show you how to use pinstriping to get some of the detail happening across these edges but this 
would typically, just to get this done, if you were going to mask this stripe and mask all these shapes and this stripe, and that would take probably a full couple days of masking to do this. This was all done in about 15 minutes. So let's push forward. So now I've got painter's tape blocking off this side of the mohawk where it's going to be red. Then there's a yellow stripe. I want to show you a trick for doing this yellow stripe. You could just paint this red and then do a mask for a yellow stripe, but I've got a better way to do this. So the yellow is going to be on top of this line. So we're going to mask, we're going to paint it yellow first, put a mask on the yellow, and then paint everything red. So I'm just going to do this yellow strip. I know that it starts there and it comes down the center. It comes down. And then it does a turn and ends up over here. So we'll just thicken this up, let it dry, clear coat it, put a mask on it, and then this whole thing is going to go a crimson red color. And then when that's dry, we can peel this mask off, the secondary mask, and we'll have a nice, clean, yellow strip. This is the end of part one. Click the link to visit part two. If you find the content of this material useful, you may want to join my new Patreon channel. Go to patreon.com and search for me, or click the link in the description. Thanks for your support.